That's right. How does it feel to be gate man now, Dad? My, 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 how the turns table. Or something like that, at least. So now Dad is gonna go work some ground over at this farm, and I have to go elsewhere. So we're going through town, and I didn't know that the dump was right here. Oh, I'm just kidding. Quad tracks are kind of nice, actually. Now we're here at the farm that I need to work down. We're getting unfolded, and there are lots of terraces here. So I can't use auto steer on all but So this is what this farm looks like, except we sold this part. So that's what it actually looks like. Yeah, it's too wet. The boss man over there said, yeah, we're, we're just gonna hang it up for today. Cause this place is like a lot of places around here, like today. It just needs just a little bit more sunshine to get it dried out enough. So we're just, just gonna wait till tomorrow. And we're probably gonna be better off because of that. The next day, Oh, I did take the liberty of saving this uh, extremely worn out sweep from the field cultivator. This is the Goldinger Farms record for how worn out a sweep has been. Well, we finally got back here in the field and no auto steer because there's no place to use auto steer because there's a lot, and I mean a lot of wet spots. I hear some standing water that I'm gonna go through because I can. There's where Grandpa cut down the sprayer, and there's some combine tracks in there. It's just kind of a mess given how wet it's been the past two springs. Well, I forgot about this whole spring house that's back here on this farm. This water is ice cold and crystal clear. And it's good stuff, but I don't know if I should drink it or not given uh, might be stuff that's washing into it. All right, it is later in the day. I finished up that place I was at. There's like 120 acres there. It took me right at four hours to do it. And now I'm in the river bottom with the diamond harrow getting ground up, getting weeds knocked down so that we can uh, get over this with the ammonia. We are in the 9510R with a 45 foot diamond harrow. This has been in a, another video before. Stays right by my side So tell me open Pull me out The things in the side That scream and shout And the pain still hates me So hold me Until we see We have encountered a small problem That has happened before you see, this diamond harrow sometimes likes to hang up, and when it does, it breaks, and we're trying to not do that. So we're gonna hop out of the cab real quick and see if we can fix this. Well, it's a beautiful evening. It's just a little bit windy, and this is what I'm talking about. This whole uh, harrow thing is supposed to sit in the cradle, not under it. So when it unfolds, it's gonna try to tear this off, which has already happened once. So we're gonna try to do this without tearing it off. Ah, it's going great. This is gonna be fun to get off because I remember putting this on last summer and we had to use an impact on this and it didn't go on easy. So I doubt it's gonna come off very easy. So the plan is to take this little cradle off so that it can flop the rest of the way over so it doesn't just tear it off like it has before. And have I mentioned before that Northeast Missouri is the best place on earth? Well, half an hour later, we finally got it unfolded. I'm gonna have to take that, I'm have to get a torch down here and cut the bolt off that's holding that thing on because it's cross-threaded. And probably just gonna leave that off for the rest of the year and then fix it right once we get the time. But now it's time for another time lapse. You may not 
not be able to see it, but there's a coyote right there just kind of following me around. And I think it's time to quit for the night. It's 10 o'clock and I got to run the field cultivator tomorrow. So I'm going to park this and go home.